Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a dream that a brother in Christ had about the mark of the beast. But before I do, uh, like always, I want to encourage you to go down to the comment section because in the comment section, I have a long comment with evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please read the evidence I present and examine it. Let me know what you think about it. And if you're a Christian, I also encourage you to read the evidence and please pass this evidence along. You can print it out, give it to people or you can post it on social media. Do with it as you please. And also in the description box of all my videos, I have a message about the end times, about fulfilled prophecy and the coming events. I want you all guys to also read that also. It's a warning to say. And also before I talk to you about this Mark of the Beast stream, I want to remind you that I too, God blessed me also with Mark of the Beast streams and I made videos about him and one of them is called Mark of the Beast Features and Advertising and then one is called Mark Mark Zuckerberg in the Mark of the Beast Agenda. I'll include a link to these videos down in the description box. Now getting on to the dream that a brother in Christ shared with me. So he wrote, I woke up this morning feeling troubled with great fe fear and trembling in my spirit. What a dream the Lord gave me. The Lord made me experience what it's like to be given the RFID chip. In parentheses, he wrote Mark of the Beast. Attributes slash personality that make you human are removed from you. There he's referring to the people that will get the chip. What's going to happen to them? When given the RFID chip, the person has animal instincts and abilities to seek, track, and find. In parentheses, he wrote the left behind Christian slash people. It seems like the people that are chipped are in a standby mode that is until their chip is activated. I remember telling a woman, when you see these things about to happen, drop to your knees and surrender your life to Jesus. I was then shown a scene with the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Darkness was all around with total silence. I could feel God the Father turn his face away from Jesus because the darkness is sin. I actually felt myself standing at the site where Jesus was crucified, looking up on Jesus, and I actually felt and heard Jesus saying in my spirit, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When the bride of Christ is raptured, spiritual darkness will cover the earth. The Christians slash people who are left behind are going to feel forsaken. I really felt all my spirit very soon. A song was quickened in my spirit. Jesus is the light of the world. Brothers and sisters, I implore you, let us continue to live and surrender our life and pray to be found worthy to escape these things. Luke 21, 36. And then he finalized. It was 1149 when I woke up. So this was the prophetic dream that a brother in Christ shared with me. And God also um, gave me prophetic dreams that I, I uploaded on my channel the testimonies of it about the mark of the beast and and yeah I guess if if you somehow find yourself that you are left behind to go through the tribulation I mean don't take the mark of the beast that's the absolute one of the worst things that you can do life on earth will be hell for you and don't take the chip and as the bible says the chip will be mandatory and they'll try to make you take the chip but don't take it and it's going to be in your right hand or in your forehead. And it says that no man may, can buy or sell without it. And the thing is, there are some Christians nowadays that are saying, oh, the chip is, oh, the chip is spiritual. The chip is not physical. Don't be deceived by them. The mark of the beast is an actual physical object that will go either in your right hand or in your forehead. That will, that will be mandatory during the tribulation. So if and also if you are left behind and you're in the tribulation, bring as many you can to the kingdom. Just I'm warning you ahead of time. So just in case that some of you do get left behind, the Great Commission, there's people's souls. Let God use you to bring souls to Him. And if you're watching this, please, it doesn't matter if you're going to be left behind in the tribulation or not. The Great Commission awaits. Bring as many as you can or ask God to use you 
to help him bring as many as he can, as many as you can, to the kingdom. There's so many unsaved people right now. I mean, many Christians are not even saved because they're lukewarm. They're not repenting. They're living in sin. The Bible says that to the lukewarm Christians that Jesus is going to tell them, depart from me. I never knew you. If once saved was always saved, there would not be Christians that Jesus would say, depart from me. I never knew you. And this was what I wanted to share with you guys. Take this as a warning to the things that are coming. And if anyone tries to deceive you, if anyone tries to tell you otherwise that the mark of the beast is some spiritual thing and the mark of the beast is this, it's that. And it does not align with the Bible, don't believe them. Believe what the Bible says about the mark being a physical object. And the people that will take the mark, the Bible says if you take the mark, you will go to hell. And... And I think during the tribulation, the Bible says something about that. Um, the people that will that have the mark, they're going to be tortured some way. So you can you can check that out for yourself. I think it's in the book of Revelation. So this is what I wanted to uh, tell you guys. Take this as a warning. Thank you for listening.